Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the Eucharist, the meal of our risen Lord. Let us be sorry for our sins, and let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who opened wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, Pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing that in your kindness you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in hearts and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? 
they put to death those who foretold the coming of the Righteous One, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the laws as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, our faithful God. My trust is in your Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The crowd said to Jesus, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, It was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. 
Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, what we do reflects who we are. This is one of the lessons that we could derive from our readings today. We show who we are by what we do. In our first reading today, we continue listening to the story of Stephen, particularly for today, his martyrdom. He was stoned to death. The people, especially the elders and the scribes, were so angry at Stephen because he was proclaiming Jesus to them. And because of this, because of their anger, because of false accusation against Stephen, they stoned Stephen to death. By what they did, they showed who they were. But we could also see by the actions of Stephen who he really was. As he was being stoned, Stephen said, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. As people were trying to kill him, he did not say any obscene words. He did not curse them. Nung pinagbababato na siya para patayin, hindi siya nagmura para pagalitan sila at isumpa sila. Anong mga namutang sa bibig ni Esteban habang siya binabato? Sinabi niya, Panginoong Jesus, tanggapin mo ang aking espiritu. And just before he died, Stephen, Stephen said, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. Like Jesus hanging on the cross, he asked the Father to forgive those who did this to him. Why did Stephen do that? Because he is a follower of Jesus. Because he is a disciple of the Lord. And by doing what he did, Stephen showed who he was. We could also see this in our gospel today. The people also asked Jesus, what can you do that we may believe in you? Ano ba ang kaya mong gawin para maniwala kami sa iyo? And Jesus said, I am the bread of life. I am the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. As if Jesus were telling them, you are looking for signs, but do not stop on the signs. The signs point to you to who I am. Do not be stuck on the signs. Do not be stuck on what I do. Let what I do lead you to who I am. I am the bread of life. I am the bread that gives life to the world. Jesus is able to do what he does because of who he is. 
my dear brothers and sisters, we also show to the world who we are by what we do. Nakikita kung sino tayo. Nakikita ang totoong tayo. Nakikita ang kulay natin sa ating mga ginagawa. That is why let us be careful because our actions, our attitude, the things that we do, even the way we relate to other people, and even our way, the really are. All we show our true self. Kung paano tayong kumilos, yung ugali natin, yung pagsasalita natin, yung mga reaksyon natin sa mga bagay-bagay, lahat yan ang ipinapakita natin sino ba talaga ako. Minsan akala natin kapag tayo'y nakapagsalita laban sa ibang tao, ang nasisira natin ay yung ibang tao. Pero ang totoo, ang nakikita kung sinong totoong pagkatao ay tayo, yung pinagmumulan ng salita. If we do good things, if we do things that help other people, that benefit other people, if we think good thoughts, if we speak good words, then it only shows the goodness inherent in our lives. But if our actions are evil, if our actions are immoral, if our words are evil, and if everything we see is evil, even if the good things happening around, if you see evil, no, pag kahit sa mabuting bagay, What we do shows who we are. Who are we, my dear brothers and sisters? We are all children of a loving Father. Who are we? We are all sharers in the new life of Jesus, our risen Lord. Who are we? We are temples of the Holy Spirit. And so if this is who we are, then let us act accordingly. We are invited to look to Jesus for the satisfaction that only the promise of heaven can give. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. <laughs> that the church may strive to bring Christ's love to everyone who is hungry for the bread of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may realize that Christ's presence in the Eucharist is a constant call for us to share our lives with those we meet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who experience hunger and thirst may be satisfied by Jesus who is our bread. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the sick may draw strength from receiving the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That those nourished in this life by the Eucharist may be raised up on the last day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our own needs. We remember our brothers and sisters who need our prayers. We also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son from heaven to be our spiritual nourishment and to lead us to you. Grant that by our faith in Jesus, the bread of life, we may be with you always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. 
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for joining us in this Mass this morning and also to thank those who positively responded to our call to support the community pantries in our communities. Marami pong nagpadala ng messages dito sa Manila Cathedral. Maraming nagpadala ng tulog. We are overwhelmed by the help that you are sending in order to support this very good initiative of charity towards one another. But we also would like to make an appeal because there are many community pantries around. Bishop Pabilio, our apostolic administrator, also encouraged every parish to follow this initiative. And so please also support your local communities. Sana po supportahan din natin yung mga community pantry sa ating mga parokya, sa ating mga barangay, sapagkat nangangailangan din po yan ng tulong para masustain ang, at, ang magandang proyektong ito ng pagtulong sa ating kapwa at pagbabahaginan. And so as we thank you, we also make an appeal to support your local community pantry so that we may be able to sustain this good work that we are doing to bayanihang ito na ginagawa natin para sa isa't isa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Leitare, Amen.